Okay. So assume that the function f is one to one function. That means there's one x value, one x for every one y. So one x for every one y is what we're to assume. And so then it says, if f of nine is four, what's f inverse of four? Okay, so, so today's topic is uh, inverse functions. That's what this means right here, this little minus one. This means inverse, that negative one power on the f, it means f inverse. Now, what's an inverse function? It means you switch, you invert x and y. That's what an inverse function is. It's an inverting, a switching of x and y. Now, the main part you've got to remember for a function, let me grab this and right, let me do this. Let me um, grab this here and bring it over here to be really clear what this is. It's saying f of nine is four. Now, you know, you know for functions that what is in here is x and what comes out here is y. We've talked about that before with graphs. Remember, when it comes to functions, whatever you plug into the parentheses is your x value and whatever it, whatever it equals, whatever comes out here is your y value. So you gotta be super clear on that. This is always x, this is always y for a what? Regular function. But now for the inverse function, it's exactly switched. This will be y and this will be x because it's inverse. This is inverse here. And this one up here is regular. Everybody good? We get the regular function and then we get the inverse function. So for the inverse function, x and y swap. That's, that's what it means by inverse. They invert. They invert. They swap. So in other words, y is in the parentheses, x now goes to the outside. So what's that gonna do? Well, the four will go here and the nine will go there. <clears throat> you with me? They basically swap, he goes there and he goes there for the inverse function. So when they ask me, what is f inverse of negative four? What is it gonna equal? Well, f inverse of negative four is nine. That making sense. It's just literally a swapping of inputs and outputs. You know, I try to make it real. You, uh, you know, I use the toaster analogy. Let, let me write toaster. I know it's goofy, but I think it just helps, helps you think real. You, if you have a toaster, you put stuff into a toaster and you get stuff out of a toaster, right? You put in bread, for example, and you get out toast. You put in frozen waffles, get out toast waffles. Well, this is like the X and this is like the Y. For a toaster, for a regular, normal toaster. But then imagine with me, what would an inverse toaster be? Well, an inverse toaster, you would put in toast and you would get out bread. That's kind of weird. You might think, who would want that? Well, suppose you made toast. And then right as soon as the toast pops up, you think, oh, shoot, I, I was going to have eggs. Now I made this toast. And you go, oh, no, it's okay. I got my handy dandy inverse toaster. You can just put the toast back into the inverse toaster. Push down the lever a few minutes later, it turns it back into bread. Out comes bread. I know I'm being really goofy here. But you get it physically? That's what an inverse function is. It reverses the inputs and outputs. See how bread is now over here, toast is now over here. It just swaps, inverted, invert, inverses, <laughs> inverts, that's the right word, sorry. Inverts, inputs and outputs, right? So regular function, x, nine goes in, four comes out. So x is the nine, y is the four. And then an inverse function, f with the minus one, that's inverse. It y goes in, x comes out. So you put in, you put in the four, out will come the nine. That's how I said this answer is nine, because they took the inverse of four, well, out will come nine. 
Now, how about this next one? Let's look at this next part here. Right here, they're saying F in, let me write it down here. F inverse, notice the minus one there, a minus four equals minus seven. Now let's be clear. That means, that means this is a Y and this is an X. Why? Because the inverse function, it's reverse. So you put in the Y, get out the X, right? And then they're asking me, what's gonna be the like regular function? F, right? F, this is regular. F of negative seven. Well, this, if it's a regular, this is regular. Whereas this other one's inverse notice, right? So if this is regular, that means this is an X. That's what you do with regular functions. You put in X, you get out Y. So if you put him there, then this guy's gonna be minus four. So it's just a switching, a swapping of X's and Y's between a regular function and an inverse. So the moral of the story, a regular function, regular function, you put in X, get out Y, an inverse function, you put in Y, get out X. It just swaps them. That's the point of this example. So up here, regular function, put in nine, get out four, inverse, put in four, get back out nine. Same thing here, inverse function, put in negative four, get out negative seven, and then regular function, negative seven goes back to negative four. There we go.